I think it's time to record an update while I feel up to it, because the meds come and go with my energy and messing with me and making me need to sleep, as well as my physical activity on top of that. I was not expecting to basically <laughs> have to start all over with everything. That's where I feel right now. Walking is exhausting. Going upstairs means I need a nap after. Um, but it's only been a little over a week since I had the surgery. Wasn't a super invasive surgery, but it's still, you know, I, I, I got a hole in me into the middle of my belly. Well, not quite my belly, but... Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have started to record this right after I took my morning meds because they're fucking with my brain already. Uh, we're gonna sip on coffee and enjoy it while we can before the post-breakfast meds. These are the pre-breakfast meds. There's a ton of meds. I'm counting down the one I get them off because they say my symptoms, a lot of my symptoms should go away after that 30 days, that initial hard end stuff. Um, but every day is getting a little bit better, every day um, it's a little easier. Symptoms are less still there. Sometimes they still kick hard, but it's exciting, the progress, and it's all been worth it so far. <laughs> These are happy tears. My blood sugar has been stable since the surgery. I haven't had any low blood sugar. And that's... I don't know what it's like to go like two days without having low blood sugar or extremely high blood sugar. And I have been stable. And it feels good. Um... My vision fluctuated with my blood sugar and it's been stable and even in both eyes. I do like this because that's how I used to check if I needed to schedule an optometry, um, an eye doctor appointment, optometrist. See, this words get hard um, with some of these meds. My brain functions, but it doesn't come out of my mouth very well. So I'm really excited to see what happens that 30 days and then the eight weeks is when the graft should be fully healed. So I've just got to be patient and I'll get back to where I was. I hope I don't have to completely start all over because I busted my ass and I got so in shape and whatnot with pole dancing. I look forward to being able to pole dance without my insulin pump. Like, I'm super excited for that. Especially when I would get to the spin parts. I've been nervous about doing like spin pull with my pump. Uh, but right now I'm completely off of it. Still on insulin. Um, I'm using a, currently less than half. But hopefully when my appetite returns I'll be at half the insulin I was before just to help keep it stable. Uh, there's still a possibility that that will get reduced. We won't know until that eight weeks things will be adjusting until that eight weeks maybe even longer who knows everybody's different when it comes to this experiment um it's been worth it it has 100 percent been worth it even in the hardest moments i just when I feel good, I feel really good. And that's happening longer and more frequently as my body is adjusting to some of the meds and as some of the meds are being taken off. Like, how many meds am I down? I'm off steroids completely. We're not even counting, we're not even counting what inpatient meds there were. But I'm down two bottles and I have one injection. I think one more injection, maybe two. It should be done today. Um, so that's super, super exciting. I'm literally counting down the days. It's a 30 day when a lot of these meds will be off. And then there's three months and then six months. And at that point, I should just be on the five maintenance for as long as my body doesn't reject the cells. 
and I'll be honest, it still hasn't hit me that somebody else's cells are in my body. <laughs> I think it would be different if it was an organ, but somebody else's cells are in my body and I don't feel any different. I don't know if that makes me weird. I really think it'd be different if it was an organ. But I'm gonna savor my coffee. I get another like 20 minutes before I have to make myself eat. Oh, that's the other thing. I have no appetite. I've been making myself eat three meals a day. And then it's not much. Maybe a sandwich. I get excited when I can get an extra carrot or some tomato in or something. Um, so I've been putting veggies on my sandwiches to make sure I get my veggies. I uh, don't know what else to say right now, but... I'm drinking coffee, and I feel good most of the time, some of the times. It, it varies. Yesterday, yesterday was by far the best day that I've had. Minor symptoms. So here's hoping that today is better, and tomorrow is better, and every day I am getting, it, every day is getting better. <laughs>